But, um, you know, like, tr true, true, true. Let's see. All right, so it looks like he's actually going to stick it up with the ditto here. Luigi. I've seen uh, Ethan's Marth. I've seen his Falco. I know he's got really... What's it? Oh, my bad, my bad. But he's got he's got some pockets. So if he if he's not feeling good with Luigi, but if he's not feeling good with Luigi, he can absolutely go a different character. Um, I'm not sure if this is a pride thing or if this is just something he wants to run back. Um, I know that I heard that. Um, okay, we're starting on PS2. I heard that uh, he actually oh SD looks, in, like he walks uh, off the ground and gets, gets zero to death. Zero to death here. Uh, I mean, yeah, I believe that a misfire killed Ewok in, in game four in their last set, is what I was told. And so probably Ethan realizing that there are some things he can do to win this game or this this set if he um, and he knows that. He he knows that he I mean both these Luigi's are very, very good players in their own right. Um, oh, he manages the manga hand from that range, but we're gonna see here. Again, I think that um I, I don't really know where to gauge these players. Um I mean, even being in Cal, or like in Cal and Sack, he's like uh, definitely a little bit more defensive. Um, uh, he's got to be out of the back end. And he's so, dead. But we're going to be, we're gonna like be it's, seeing a lot of aggression. It's a fight for grabs. Oh, this could be it. And he gets the SDI in. Uh, Still say he's 57, but... Um, oh, doesn't punish that up till on block. I'm pretty sure you, that's pretty negative. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, looking like uh, Ethan's currently got his number in this first game. Gets the stock. I mean, we've seen how explosive Luigi can be. I mean, just in this set and in the last couple of sets, we've seen a lot of this character in uh, this top eight for sure in this, in this bracket. Ooh, interrupting the up B. Uh, again, I've, um, in my time playing against J Mark, he's, um, he's definitely the more aggressive and proactive Luigi. Um, uh, again, it's going to get him killed. Uh, in that situation, he likes to try to force a lot of openings for sure. Um, I think again, a lot of the uh, if there are any Reno players in chat, I'm pretty sure you guys can confirm that you guys are way more aggressive than Sack. But um, so he's going to be playing under that kind of like nature, that kind of uh, in um, that kind of like mind space. He's going to be trying to be the oh, it aggressor. Looks like, looks like Sandals. Sandals just <laughs> gifting a sub to Motormouth. Almost, you want to say anything to that? You just got gifted a sub. Luigi, Luigi. It's currently updating the, <laughs> the the scoreboard at the moment, but so here we go. On the small battlefield, we got a music counter pick. We were just talking about this and how good the music is in the game. And we've got a color counter pick as well to so default Luigi here. Um, looks like we have a Luigi start for Jaymar this time around. Um, that's the 65, almost completely unanswered, and Luigi at ledge. Uh, looks like Ewok actually doing that reversal, get, catching the spot dodge. There we go. Oh, gets the up B. This isn't enough to kill just yet. Gets go. the dash attack. He's off the level. He tries to gimp him, and uh, I don't know, Jul Julian being really good at just mixing up his recoveries in general here. But, um, like we saw him avoid it against Rude. Oh, here we go. Catches the uh, the anti up smash. Yeah. Uh, I believe that we saw. Oh, Jaybar is in the lead. Jaybar is in the lead. Here we go. Again, this is going to be a very volatile. This is one of the more volatile dittos in the game in general. Um, Luigi dittos are basically just get the grab. Get bit. the grab. But I mean, I mean, there is. Oh, gets the misfire to save him. Uh, unfortunately, loses the guessing game at the ledge, but. Has 31% extra credit. Again. Ewok has the advantage here because he gets 0%. Yeah. Gets the zero to death. Looks if like you're zero percent, it's just scary. It is really scary against Luigi. Again, in the, even in this ditto. That means you're you have an advantage because like you can pull off the zero to death. Percent leads can feel like they're really really fast to, to drop. But gets the DI on, yeah, on, the, on the down throw up you on. So here we go. Well, we got Ewok off stage here. Again, it, oh, reads a normal get up, misses it by about a frame. This is grand fun. Here we go. It's the invisible reversal. The invisible reversal off the ledge. Hey, uh, we're going to be seeing a lot of that in the, this kind of set. Grandpa. But, um, again, these characters having the same tools and being some of the most explosive in the game, um, we're going to be seeing a lot of back and forth. Again, we had Jamar in the lead in this set pretty significantly, and then here we go uh, with a relatively even game. Um, I was actually talking to Ewok just uh, before he played 
this ditto the first time, the winner's side, and he said that, yeah, he doesn't really, um, he, he feels like a lot of, uh, he, he's more confident than he will win, and also, uh, he does not DI the, the, the down beat as well as he, uh, as you think he would for being a Luigi player. But he does and know some And Miwok is up 2-0 in this, in this set. Miwok has a chance to, re to um, reset the bracket. The reset for sure, for sure. We've seen Ethan in these positions before. He's not shy from, from resetting bracket. He's a player of incredible caliber for sure. Um, but let's not forget that Jmar did get the winner's side, um, the winner's side win. And uh, so we're just going to see how it goes. Luigi. Back to Luigi Ditto, I think that, um, yeah, no, because, you know, we, we know that Ewok has the pockets, and I think that with his mentality of more confident Luigi wins, he's trying to suppress that out of J-Mo, and I think he's trying to push him to a position where he doesn't feel comfortable anymore with, without a pocket of his own to go. So, he's just going to be banging his head on a data where he feels like, you know, even with the same tools, they can feel very yeah. frustrating. Again, though, we're going to see a very explosive start. Uh, that first hit feels like it just means How did the most. Nair hit the shield, but then just didn't the upbeat uh, I, I think it was the a spacing issue. Who uh, catches the last frame of the green yeah. missile there. Gets the roll back. Um, I mean, I know Ethan well enough for, like, he's, he's very, very good at uh, J -Mar catching got, J Mar got the downer, so, like, he just needs one grab, and then you just send this, like, really big lead. Yeah, he's gonna be looking for grab with punches there, like on that dash attack. Ewok getting too aggressive out of the corner, only even 29 for his troubles. Yeah. Gets the punish on the, the B. Here we go. With a near full stock lead, gets the air dodge out, can't, he can't punish. Luigi is a little too slow for that. And just the edge guard, here we go, 51 to 0. Um, we've seen Ewok again just do this before. He absolutely gets the grab. Here we go, starts it up. Ooh! Gets the, oh, gets the one. That was, that, was, that was unfortunate. We've seen a lot of those tonight with uh, a lot of these floaty characters. Luigi's very floaty. Uh, Peach is also being a very floaty character. He but tries to get the up smash, Jamar. Yeah, he definitely wanted to roll or to try to catch yeah. a jump in. Um, he's very, he, like, Jamar is good at scaring you into jo jumping and rolling nice a Nice parry. Um, he gets the down B. Yeah. This is reversal out of the corner. Ooh. Gets the slide off. Uh, Luigi's are uh, so. near unpunishable in that position if they manage the he down He could have went for a down B and then maybe it would have killed him. Yeah, if he got the DI cross up, he would have been a kill there, but he went for the more consistent damage. Gets the jab off of the lift up smash. That pivot grab being huge, but you know, Jmar is very good at, um, like, he, he, he likes to press a button in those scenarios where he feels like you're going to overextend. And, um, yeah. again, not a very rare miss from, from Ewok on, on a confirm, but, you know, 0-0, zero, zero, game three here. Um... Just Luigi Ditto. That's all I gotta say. He walk gets his grab. Gets his combo. Gets the zero to death yeah. for the reset. Yeah. Excellent work from Ewok. Getting that bracket. We're gonna here. see. Gonna we're, let's bracket. see if um if uh J Mar has to say anything about this because he has time to adapt. He does have time to adapt. Again, he's a very adaptive player. Um, yeah. He's really good at um uh, like absorbing new knowledge. He's really good at that kind of kind of uh, gameplay. Yeah. 